Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on a Monday here. It's the 13th of July. We've been off for two weeks, so we're easing back into this. Uh, nothing really pressing on the agenda right now. We have some risk on action on this Monday, which makes no sense to us. Uh, let's take a look at this S&P to start. 99 is 31.99 new high new range high um, you know this is a new high since the beginning of June don't ask me why we're here um, I have no idea um, but here we are uh, not fading this just watching trying to get a feel for what's going on um, here we are, we gapped open up. Wow, gap open up as well. Weird. Uh, don't even know what to say. Let's go to crude. Um, some news about supply changes. Not a whole heck of a lot going on here. We we closed at 40.49. Um, we opened at 40.37. We went down to 39.93. But here we are, 40.24. Um, market doesn't seem to care about supply changes right now. You, you can probably bank on the fact there'll be stops above 40.77 now, which was Friday's high. So everyone who sold on this news... Um, naturally will leave a stop up there so there should be some forced buying up at 4080 um, might be some money to be made around there uh, but we're we're just spectating let's go to euro it's an interesting week for euro obviously uh, g20 at the end of the week and european company uh, countries getting together to try and decide what they're going to do with the euro rescue fund we're expecting good news um but we're also aware that the market is long euro. The high up at um, 113.70 last week is now sort of interesting, mainly because uh, just from a chart perspective, you had that triple top at 50. Bang, 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 bang. Maybe even four highs here. This high is 45. This high is 49. This uh, bad baby here was 53, and this guy was 52. Um, so just from a technical perspective, you could probably get long through 70, leave a stop below 50. Um, should be some volatility uh, in euro dollar this week um, with either positive news about the euro fund rescue or negative, view, negative news, if, if they fuck that up, um, Euro will get slammed. Uh, keep in mind, I think the market's pretty long Euro. i got to make some calls this morning and talk to some people and sort of get back uh, in the mix. Um, but my feeling is there's been enough time heading into this. There have been enough people through the normal FX channels uh, that have been calling for Euro higher. So I, I believe the market's long. Um, but anyway, above 70 is interesting to us. Cable, uh, not doing too much. Higher on the day here. Um, but kind of sort of the top end of the range. We don't really get interested in this until it gets above 128.15. Um, but the last two days, the last two trading days, the highs here, you can see 126.64, 126.69. Um, this guy here is uh, 126.87. But again, uh, we're going to wait and just be patient and see how this proceeds. Should be a quiet Monday in FX. Uh, so we're just in watch mode. Dollar Swiss getting smushed. Makes a lot of sense to us that lower. Uh, dollar Yen, this is something we're very interested in. Uh, as we get closer to 106, 
we believe this is like a watershed moment 106 uh, so we'll be watching this very very closely with the dollar offered tone today we're watching um, the correlation with risk in dollar yen is kind of fading so that's not really of interest to us we're just watching the dollar yen chart here um, we're not looking for correlation we're not looking for heads up we're just watching the price to see when it turns offered if it turns offered uh, and we'll be very very interested to see what happens at 106 Urien not doing too much got slammed it looks like on Friday down to 120.26 now or 121.16 dead smack in the middle sterling yen as you can imagine the same Aussie makes no sense to us we have Europe talking about like what they're gonna do and how they're pissed off um, yeah they have foreign ministers meeting to talk about Beijing and what they're doing in Hong Kong um, you got the US pissed off about trade why Aussies here I don't know um, 70 cents has capped it should be some stops above that uh, probably get done today I don't know is Aussie gonna make uh, a new high above 70 60 I certainly don't think so but easily could again just watching getting our feet wet here um, so not much help on that Aussie yen same bullshit in the middle of nowhere. Let's look at EuroCAD, our famous 150.50. Hasn't traded, just keeps plodding along here in this sort of 150, 154 range. Um, we'll be very interested uh, and we'll continue watching this for the rest of the year. Um, very, very interesting point. Uh, Eurocad makes no sense that direction but still interesting technically Eurozzi is doing kind of the same business here at the bottom end of the range um, let's get rid of these kind of flopping around here between 160 um, and 166 but recently we have these really contracted ranges between 161 and a half and 163 we like euro Aussie higher um, just because we think euro dollar is going to grind higher and we do expect risk to turn um, we're not going to preempt this it's just kind of a wild guess but prices above 163 we might we might get involved in uh, euro Aussie dollar cad doing nothing shitty little chart boc this week so um let's be aware and ready for that gold 1830 on gold futures um in hindsight looks so easy right like oh, why, why aren't you long well we're not long um tried to be long like five million times um Gold looks pretty robust. You know, there's going to be support at 1780. Um, right here, there's not much to do, uh, but gold looks pretty solid. And let's see what Bitcoin is doing. 9300, not doing too much. Just dicking around in this sort of 9,000, 10,000 range. Um, We're buyers of Bitcoin. Uh, any any good dips, stick your neck out uh, with very small size, because these kind of dips can happen over here. This dip, as you recall, ten five to thirty eight hundred. That's like a sixty percent move, right? Um, this shit can happen in Bitcoin because it's illiquid and it's kind of crappy, but we do like uh, owning that shit for the long term so just watching today here at privateer we're kind of getting our feet wet getting back into it uh, after a nice break um, and 
Eyes on dollar yen, but no action yet. Eyes on Euro Aussie, but no action yet. Uh, and just scratching our head about S and P's and and wondering um, why we're at 3,200. Obviously, 3,230 were the June highs. Surely there'll be some stops above that and some risk above that. Um, why we're here, I don't know. Uh, will we sell? Definitely not. Uh, just watching. All right. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow.